family members in tears as a 16-year-old goes to court facing the most serious of charges. But did he intend to kill the young man he called a friend? Tonight, the attorney for that teenager is calling this a tragic accident. Night on your side's Julie O'Neill joins us live from the Juvenile Justice Center with what she found out after an emotional morning in juvenile court. Julie? Carol, this teen locked up here this evening is facing a world of trouble. He uh, is dealing with a list of charges here tonight, despite the fact his attorney says that shooting that happened in Avondale was an accident. Our camera can't show you the faces of the 16-year-old boy or the family members sitting in juvenile court behind him, overcome by what young Jamarte Borden now faces. A charge of murder with the possession firearm specification. Accused of murder, theft, taking a car that wasn't his, driving it without a license, and truancy. Police say he shot 19-year-old Trayvon Bedford early Sunday morning at this apartment complex on Irving Street in Avondale, then left the scene. But his attorney, who worked with police to turn him in yesterday, says it's not what you think. It's not one of these killings that people are hearing in the news every day. It wasn't drug related. Carl Lewis says Borden loved Bedford like a brother. Neighbors tell me Bedford lived two doors down from Borden's grandmother's where the shooting happened. Currently, the charges, as have been reported, uh, were murder, but officially, those charges may or may not stay based upon the investigation that's going forward. It's just a very, very, very tragic incident, and my client is completely torn apart about this. He and the deceased were extremely, extremely close friends. Now, Cincinnati police are still investigating this. I'm told they have interviewed Borden extensively. He remains here tonight. His next court appearance will decide whether he will go to adult court. That's set for July 9th in Mount Auburn. Julie O'Neill, live, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Julie.